Hello guys welcome back to my channel in this video I will show you how to install Arduino ID software and how to upload programs into different types of Arduino boards like Arduino Uno, Arduino Uno SMD model and Arduino Nano. So let's get started. Let's begin with the installation of Arduino software. So here I am using a windows system. To install an Arduino software, open your browser like Chrome. Now go to search bar and type Arduino then click enter. In the first result it will show Arduino official website. Click on that official website link. So this is the home page of Arduino website. This page will show some latest updates of Arduino. In the top section we can see some options like hardware, software, cloud, documentation etc. We need software, so click on software option. Once it is loaded, it will show the latest version of Arduino software. Just scroll down a little bit and we can see some options here. I am using Windows system, so I will choose one of the three options mentioned here. I will go with first option for easy installation. In the next page, it will display like this. You can contribute or just download. Here you can provide your email id to get latest updates of Arduino or click on just download. Now the Arduino software.exe file has been downloading. Just open this executable file once downloaded. A tab will open to install Arduino IDE software. It will display some license agreement. You can proceed by clicking on I agree. With default options, you can click on next, no need of any change. If you want, you can change this destination folder for installing the software. Now click on install. Once installation is completed, just click on finish. Now we can see the Arduino IDE software is installed and icon is displaying on desktop. Just click on it to open the software. So this is how it looks when you open the software. Some pop-ups will open at the bottom right corner. These pop-ups are shown initially if there is any updates available for libraries, type of boards, etc. If you want to update all the libraries, just click on install all or you can skip this for later. When you open the Arduino software, by default a program or sketch will be there. Here it is the sketch name with date. There are some icons in the left panel. Let's check each of them. This is sketchbook icon which shows all the sketches that you have saved previously. This is boards manager. Here you can install or uninstall the external boards other than Arduino. And this is library manager. Here you can install or uninstall the external libraries. This is debug icon and this is search icon. Here you have to select correct Arduino board and port number. You can also go to tools and set the type of board and port number. Here we can see the list of different types of Arduino boards. And we can see the port option is disabled because we did not connect any Arduino board to the computer. Let's start programming our Arduino boards. So this is Arduino Uno R3 model board, a popular board for prototyping basic electronic projects. It costs around 800 to 1000 rupees in online stores like Amazon, Flipkart etc. Or else you can easily find it in your nearest local electronic stores. And this is Arduino Uno SMD model board. It is similar to the R3 model board but has a slight change like it comes with a surface mounted microcontroller and it's cheaper than the R3 model which costs around 300 to 400 rupees. Later we can discuss about Arduino Nano. Now I will show how to program these Arduino boards. When you purchase Arduino boards, they will provide this cable as well. Connect Arduino board to the system by using this USB cable. Once connected to the system, the onboard LEDs of Arduino board will be turned on, which indicates that the board is activated properly. 
we can see that the port option is enabled for selection. For Arduino Uno R3 model boards along with port number it will display Arduino board name as well. If you are using Arduino Uno SMD model boards then port option will not show any Arduino board name. We can see that it is showing only port number but not Arduino board name. Let's reconnect our Arduino Uno R3 model board. Now I will show how to upload a simple blink program from examples that comes with this Arduino software. When you click on files and go to examples then you will find lot of sketch files here. So I am selecting blink sketch from basics. Then a new tab will open along with blink program. So this is the basic code for blinking onboard LED of Arduino Uno. To upload any program we must have to verify it before uploading for checking errors in the code. So there is verify button at top left corner. Just click on that verify button then it will start compiling the code and output will show at the below tab if in case of any errors. Once compiling is done, the output tab will show the result. If there is any error in code, then it will show the error details. In this example code, there is no error, so it is showing the successful message. Let's add some bugs in code and compile it. So we can see if there is any error in code, then it will show compilation error message along with error details. Now I will remove this and will show one more error that is error related to curly braces. If you miss any curly braces for functions in the code then output will show the error. So it is showing compilation error expected curly bracket at the end of input. In this way, we can able to identify the errors in code and rectify it by understanding from these error messages. If errors are resolved and compilation done successfully, then you can proceed uploading the code into Arduino board. To upload any code into Arduino board, click on upload button which is located just beside verify button. We can see there is an error while uploading code into Arduino board. And one more thing is the code has no errors but getting error while uploading the code into Arduino board. Let's see what is the exact error in output tab. So it is showing the error related to incorrect port number selected. Make sure you have to select correct board name and port number while uploading the code. Now we have selected the correct port number. Let's retry uploading the code. We can see the message done uploading. It means that code has been successfully uploaded into Arduino Uno board. While uploading code, the TXRX onboard LEDs will blink on Arduino board. And we can see the onboard LED is blinking for every one second. For suppose while uploading code, if we select different board name, then it will show this error called timeout communicating with programmer. So select the correct board name that needs to be uploaded the code, then we won't get this error. Sometimes if we select correct Arduino board name and port number as well, then it will show this error. Now I will tell what are the common reasons for this error. If we remove microcontroller chip from Arduino board and upload the code then we will get that error. So make sure that microcontroller chip is inserted properly when removed. If we connect reset pin of Arduino Uno with ground terminal then we will get the error while uploading the code. So make sure you have to disconnect reset pin from ground if it is connected. If we have connected the RXTX pins of Arduino board to something then we will get the error. So don't use TXRX pins while uploading the code. If you are using damaged or corrupted Arduino board, then we might get this error. 
in this case we must have to replace the damaged Arduino board with new one. I hope you all now understand the common errors and troubleshooting steps while uploading code into Arduino board. We have done uploading code into Arduino Uno R3 model board. Let's upload the code into Arduino Uno SMD version board. If you want to upload different Arduino code that you might found on internet or if you develop your own code, then open a new tab from file or you can use keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus N. Then a fresh tab will open. By default, it will show void setup and void loop functions. So you have to remove them when copy paste the code. Now I will try to upload the code. So before uploading, we need to check correct board name and port number is selected or not. Previously, the port number is 46. Now for SMD, it is showing COM8. So we need to select that. Let's upload the code now. The code has been successfully uploaded. Let's check the status of the board. So we can see the onboard LED of SMD board is blinking for every one second. Now let's start programming Arduino Nano. It is a small compact size Arduino board when compared with other boards and also it is cost effective in which we can get it around 300 rupees. We can't able to use this cable, we have to use different cable for this Arduino Nano for programming. So this is the cable we have to use that comes along with Arduino Nano. So before uploading the code we need to set the board name as Arduino Nano and select the correct port number. Now click on upload. As you can see we got an error. So this error is due to incorrect processor is selected for Arduino Nano. We have to select 8 mega 328p old bootloader. Now click on upload. We can see the code has been successfully uploaded. The onboard LED of Arduino Nano is blinking. So we can able to program different types of development boards using this Arduino ID software.